Ian, speaking of Nintendo, this dropped last uh, yesterday as well last night. Uh, the final Mario Maker uh, 2 update. Yeah. Came out. I'm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited uh, for this. Um, sure. I like Mario Maker in theory. Um, I've played a good amount of part two, but my problem with it comes into my, my, my biggest problem. Something that I've wanted from this game since day one, literally day one. And I was surprised when it wasn't in there on the original Mario Maker. And now I'm kind of like, I was. I was flabbergasted when it wasn't in Mario Maker 2 at start, and now it's going to be the last update for Mario Maker 2. Anyways, it's World Creator. He was flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. Um, the World Creator is going to let you basically take the levels that you've made, up to five of them, uh, and string them together on a map that you create, like Super Mario World or Mario 3 or any of those Mario games that have the maps. Um, and people will be able to play them in order. Uh, this is really neat because obviously if you, so, and you can make up to eight worlds, so you can have 40 levels, so you can make your own Mario game from start to finish. Oh, I, th I thought I read you have to have to up, up to eight per, per no, someone level. read it wrong and they corrected oh. themselves later. So uh, it's eight times five, eight times five. Yes. Not 40. four. They're going to get a five. Okay. Yeah. Just in case you want to do five. Okay. Yeah. I'm fairly certain it was. All I remember reading was that 40, basically you'll be able to put 40 levels into the entire game. You can make your own campaign. Yeah. Um, this is really cool because one of my favorite things in Mario is running. Well, one thing I, everyone likes is running around and grabbing all the coins. Uh, coins are huge in Mario. They're like iconic. And in Mario Maker, for the most part, coins were just window dressing. Kind of window dressing. Because if you're only trying to complete one level. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah. Um, and plus the lives don't I mean the lives don't matter as much then as well when you just have the single level. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah you just keep restarting it. So it, it all felt very useless. So it, honestly it sounds silly, but just for the fact that it makes coins mean something in the game where it can is something that I'm very into. Um also people can have more cohesion. I think it's really going you to get I think it's going to get people to make cohesive levels in yes. worlds instead of everything being and a gimmick. Is, and this is why I stopped. I really like it when people just make a fucking Mario level. But last time I checked, everything was, um, you know, one of those, uh, how do they say it? Kaizo? Uh, the, like the Difficulty. super, the, yeah, the super yeah. hard, it's either like the super hard levels or it's a speed run where you have 10 seconds to get through it. And it's neat, but that's, that's not, not the that, game yeah, I want to play. That's not Mario to me. Mario is not, you have to play perfectly or else you're dead. Yeah. That's never been Super Mario to me. Mario is supposed to have clever designs and it's supposed yes. to be fun to explore. And like I said, I do, I have played some of those harder levels and some of them are a fucking trip and they're great. Like they're a sure. lot of fun. We, the, but I, 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 I'm not eating a whole meal of that. Some I, people like the, well, well you, you have to be the elite gamer to get past this and you're going to die 75 times. That's not fun to me. I'm right. sorry. It might be fun to watch every now and then, but... That's not again. That's not Mario to me. Mario is having a fun story and having nice enemy placement and having changing worlds you go through gradually, and you can't do that with single levels. And I'm not putting down Super Mario Maker, but you're not. Like I said, this is uh, this to me is important. This is why. Now, if I don't, I don't own Mario Maker Two, but now if I get into it, I want to see someone make an entire game and have it be like this is an awesome. Mario, I guess you know, fan game that could act as its own sequel to one of the other games, right? And if they're good That's at good and if they're good at designing, yes, it will get progressively more difficult from beginning yes. to end. So, and what's great about it is the levels that they're making that they'll make to make these worlds will go out there into the ether to just be played as single levels as well. Sure, which means that the ratio of levels that are in that for me and for other people, depending on their difficulty preferences those sweet spots like the the there's going to be more levels of the difficulty people are looking for i think if people actually make these worlds properly put some thought into yeah. them have difficulty scale up and stuff like that yeah and with the different obviously with the different uh, you know you can you can switch out the how it looks you know the graphics you can do your like your your new super mario brothers one or do your super mario 3 looking one or original i think it's an awesome idea i i wish they uh can they confirm that is there going to be um Oh, is this true? They're, they're, they're going to have like the overhead maps as well? Yes. Oh my God, this is brilliant. Yeah, and it looks like you design your own overhead oh, map. Okay, this is fu this is this That's is what I was talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, beginning. I missed that. This is Mario Maker officially. Like yeah. now we have everything, mm -hmm. right? Am I missing anything that we don't have? 
Well, yes, and they added it. Um, they added. They're adding the frog suit, um, the Hammer Brother suit. Nice. Um, and Tanuki suit was already in there. That was already in there. All the other, all the, those other suits are in there. I'm fairly certain Tanuki's in there. Actually, maybe it's not. Oh, I'll look it up. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Uh, but Hammer Brothers suit, frog suit. Hopefully, they'd throw Tanuki in with that. Yeah, why not? Um, and the big one for a lot of people. Get the shoe. Um, shoes are been in there forever. Nice. Uh, two of them. You can even get a high heel. Um, <laughs> okay. God, you, you fucking threw me off. Sorry. Real quick, while you think of that, can I can I not look up a video? Oh, oh sorry. It's not getting its own style, but it is getting a power up. Big news: Mario Two. Yes, Mario Two uh, gameplay style will be in there. You'll be able to get a mushroom that basically turns you into Mario from Mario Two. You'll be able to jump on enemies, stand on their heads, and pick them up. Um, I d- actually don't remember if I saw if there's like places to place tur- ways to place turnips and shit like that. I would hope so. Um, it's kind of a bummer that we're not going to get the Mario Two graphical style. Yeah, but it's a t- it's the, you really can't because it's a totally different. Game no, style. I know, I know. Yeah. That's a shame because um, I love Super Mario Bros. to all my heart, and I, and I, I so I, I do, I get it, um, and I think this is a, a a really nice in between compromise. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm still, yeah, it's it's the only one with basically basically its own engine in terms of how it plays versus the rest. So, so this is an I interesting way to do it, I think. Sure, would I love a Super Mario Two Maker? Absolutely, because we can get like a, like its own sequel finally. It'd be, yeah, it'd be awesome. But this is great. I mean, Nintendo went up above and beyond, and I don't mind Nintendo doing these like I saw someone compl- not complain but comment like oh Nintendo's now doing all these DLC updates now I'm like yeah but like this completes the game and well, I don't I don't mind him taking time to really flesh this out after taking a year to do this this is what know? I would say about it because I, I saw I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit of two minds because um, I saw someone mention when we were searching for topics like uh, you know talk about Nintendo only supporting their games for a year and I'm like that's a weird way to look at it yeah um, we want games to come out complete that's what everyone argues about they don't want sure. updates but then when nintendo drops an update you know not even a year into a game's lifespan that essentially completes the game an update that i would argue personally should have been there at the beginning because it would have it would have done a really good job of definitely making super mario maker 2 feel different from super mario maker 1 immediately sure but it's here now and it's going to be great uh, it's a shame it's not on the cartridge when you first buy it, um, but it completes it. I mean, I, I, I'm honestly trying to think of more stuff. There's always yeah, more stuff you can add, but I, I also, I don't need a company to update a game for two years just to say that they're yeah. updating it. They updated, they they only updated Mario Tennis for a year. Mario Tennis did need updates, but by the time it was done, there was 12 additional characters, I think two additional courses. Uh, they introduced costumes. They're not charging for this, right? No, they're not. So, so okay. It, it depends. I mean, it, it's not, it's not like Mario Maker Two is an MMO game that needs to be updated constantly over the course of its life. If Nintendo feels like they've done what they can with it, and it's not like the last last update, it's the last major one, it's the last one that's going to be adding stuff to the game again for free. Um, they'll keep doing bug fixes and things like that. Okay, so a frog suit, suit Mario Bros. Two mushroom, the power balloon i guess that's a balloon for super mario world you're taking oh around. yeah that's cool that's pretty cool yeah uh new super mario brothers you you get the super acorn less mario drift as a flying squirrel um and then super mario 3d world the boomerang flower less mario throw boomerangs as you might expect that's the, yeah that's the oh okay that's kind of the I hammer mean, brother hell I, yeah. i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not filleting nintendo here but nintendo if they really wanted to could have held back some of this stuff and waited for super mario maker 3 i would have been pissed I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, pissed. just doing the world stuff and the overview map along with some of his other stuff and then adding a little bit more, that would be enough to hook people to buy it a third time. It would have been, been, but that's why I bought it a second time. Yes, yeah, I'm just saying you, they didn't do that. Yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo, even if you hate that now they do DLC, now they have some add-ons, they, their DLC value packs to me are like well worth it, starting with obviously Super Mario Kart was like the, the first time they really experimented with Mario it. Kart's DLC was 20 bucks. You got you got like a whole new game. You got sixteen new courses, which is insane. Um, and then you got um, and the racers, right? You got a couple of racers. Yeah, yeah. you got Link. So you got sixteen new courses. You got Link, and you got um, shy guy, and I can't. Remember. I think you got sure. some Yoshi the, colors you or the, something. You got the bone guy, maybe. And then I think he was already in there. Oh. 
And then, uh, so, and that was 20 bucks. That was two DLC packs that gave you a total of 16 new courses. That's the big deal. Then you have... It doubled, the, basically doubled the game. It, it, uh, it added 50% of the game back into it. Because there was 32 courses initially in the game, and they added 16 more. Oh, no, I think there's... No. One, two, <laughs> I'm three. trying to look that up. <laughs> yeah, look how many courses, because now I'm fucking losing my mind. Uh, now I'm thinking of the, the Zelda DLC added basically a ton, didn't it? Uh, yeah, there's two DLC packs for that, yeah. 19 each. It added a ton. I know for a fact that the DLC added 16 courses. I just can't remember how, how many were in there originally. Sure. Um, and then... So 20, 20, free for Mario Tennis, free for Mario Maker. Although I would argue that had they tried to charge for it in Mario Tennis or Mario Maker, people would have been pissed because those games did launch with some issues. Gotcha. But yeah, I mean, it's not... I mean, that is stuff that I think a lot of other companies would have certainly charged for. Uh, you know, um, if Activision had made Mario Tennis, they totally could have gotten away with two ninety nine to six ninety nine per additional DLC character. Yeah, okay. So there were there were 32 tracks on Mario Kart 8. So that you basically... Okay. Oh, no, no, no. 32 original, so you added 50%. Yeah, uh, so yeah it's, that's what I'm saying. It's what 48 saying. total. Okay. After the 16. Uh, well, that's, what I, that's, that's where my that's math... That's still a lot. That's where my... That's, it is. That's what I was saying. That, sure. like, that's huge. I, it, I was trying to... I was struggling because my math was leading me to 48 tracks. I'm like, there's not fucking 48 tracks in that game, and there is. There's it's 48 nuts. tracks in it's that game. It's nuts how, how much content's in Mario Kart 8. Oh, now it's Mario Kart And you know what's really nuts? What, Ian? Uh, when you play the game online, how many people pick the same four fucking tracks over and over and Oh, really? Over I haven't again. played online in, in a while. It's been a while. So when you play online, it gives you an option for... You vote, right? Like a true random, yeah, which will pick any course from any of the 48, yeah. and it gives you three to pick from. But I think those three that it presents are based on what the most popular tracks are, gotcha. and then people always pick those. So even though there are 48 tracks in the game, I am guaranteed to play Excite Bike probably three times per online Is session. Is that really a popular one? It's a hugely popular it's one. It's so short. I like it. It's fun. And then... Um, the airport, like both airport, tr both tracks, I love. Like I love the and airport the, and track. the outdoor city one. Looks like San Francisco with the hills. Is that one of the pop ones? I love that mm -hmm. track. Um, that's a somewhat popular one, but yeah, it, it's just it's funny because no one. You just uh, the ice ice outpost is my favorite Mario Kart track. And I want to play some Mario Kart. I haven't played Mario Kart. I think online in like a year. I've wanted to play it this past week and a half. Like I always jump back into Mario Kart for like two weeks at a time, take a couple months off, and go back. I probably have two hundred hours over the two versions of Mario Kart Eight. I did not mind rebuying Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I did not mind rebuying that game at all. I, I didn't, um, only because I knew I would get my money's worth out of it. Because that's really the only one I played on the Wii U. I'm trying to think of how much Wii U I played and how much of it, like 90% of it was Mario Kart 8 that I played there. Yeah. And this is like a superior version to that because it even adds more crap. Well, they fixed the battle mode, which sucked in the original. Oh, that's Mario right. The battle mode was right. It wasn't a true battle mode. Uh, it was a, like a race, but yeah, it was like an elimination race. Sure. Oop, excuse me. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So that's that's interesting there. And so I again going back to we'll put a, put a bow on this with the, with the, with the having entire worlds, having a full game, having overhead maps. This is gonna keep this game going for years. I think people will be still making stuff for this. People, I mean, the hardcore community that was into Mario Maker One were still making Mario Maker One levels in the week that led up to Mario Maker Two. I think Mario Maker 2, yes, especially with this world mode, will find a, a second life.